Hiya, my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel and welcome to my weekly reads. How are you guys? Let me know in the comments below. Have a good old chat with me, what you've been up to, what you've been reading, all of that stuff. Um, I've had a good week, um, but before I get into all of that stuff, I'm going to get into the books that I finished since the last time I spoke to you. So, um, when I last spoke to you guys, I was had um, gone into detail about this one, which is The Poison Revival by Barbara Kingsolver. So I won't say much more than, I haven't got much more to add than what I um, had previously said in the vi previous video. So if you want to know my thoughts on it, I will link last week's video in the description below. Overall, I think this is a good book, but it's not perfect to me personally. But I would, that being said, I would check out more of Barbara Kingsolver's work because obviously I love The Mint and this was really, really well written. And I know she's a really great writer, but there's like I said, like I said in the last video, this had elements, um, particularly like at the beginning before I kind of got used to the writing style of it. Um, yeah, that irked me. So yeah, check out that video if you want to know more about that. Then I finished, I read and finished, no, I think I'd already started this last in the last video. Um, Small World by Caleb Azuma Nelson. This is a book that is set over three summers and we follow Stephen. This book I just loved so much. I feel like this could be a contender for a book on my book, fa book favourites of the year so far. It's definitely on favourites of the year so far and it's like jostling in my mind with whether I, is this my favourite book of the year so far. Potentially it may be someday maybe even though it's someday maybe I love so much. So I feel like this is sort of, this is better written than Someday Maybe, being honest. But Someday Maybe, like, has a book that is, like, that's a book that's really in my heart. So it's very difficult to know. But yeah, this is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I really want, to, this was a library copy and I really want to pick up a copy myself. Um, so yeah, so like I said, we, set, we follow Stephen, it's set over three summers. He, um, for, so he's just finished, um, he's just about to go to university. So it's 2010, 2011, 2012. Um, it's sort of his relationships with his um, family. So both his par both Stephen's parents are from Ghana. So it sort of explores, like, um, how, like that, like them coming over from um, Ghana to the UK and their experiences of that. It also talks about um, the race riots that happened with Mark Duggan. So um, obviously, content warnings for all of those um, discussions. Uh, it's just so gorgeous. The language within this is so poetic. It has like a rhythm and like the the way I recommend reading this, obviously you can read exactly however you like, where it's broken down into the three sections. I think read the three sections in like three sittings, if you know what I mean, or read the book in one sitting, if you know what I mean. Because I feel like you need to keep, whilst it has chapters within those three sections, I feel like in order to keep the pace up and to keep the flow of it, I feel like it needs to be read like that. And it's very, very short. It's like less than 200 pages. I think it's like... That is not too less than 200 pages. It's like 256 pages or something. It's really short. Yeah, 100%. Oh my gosh. And like, there was like a little bit of romance within these pages, obviously. Um, and like, it talks about all these deeper themes. Um, but yeah, oh, I just love this book so hard. I could talk about this book forever. And then also say nothing at all. So yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous writing. And I'm so glad I've got... Um, open water behind me up on the shelf above that my sister has lent me so yeah can't wait to read open water now which is his debut because this is his second novel yeah that's that so um those are all the books that i finished in terms of what i'm currently reading i like in the last video i was like i said mentioned about this book the secrets of hartwood hall by Kate, the lovely um booktube's favorite um katie lumsden which obviously we love so much and I met her in real life and she's just like one of the most loveliest people in real life as well obviously and this is her debut novel and I was like so in the last video I was like oh I don't know whether I'm gonna have like have time to read it this month but in the end I was just like really craving this kind of book this is historical fiction and it's set in 1852 and in this book we follow Margaret Lennox who has come to Hartwood Hall and she has been to become a governor a governess of a young boy there and yeah I'm, so as you can see by my bookmark, I'm about halfway through and I just love this so much. I love it, love it, love it. And this is like another, I feel like this, right, so this obviously 
reads like a classic, but I'm, I'm listening to the audiobook of this. So I'm sort of listening to the audiobook and reading it physically. And I am actually doing that when I'm like literally taking, I'm soaking it up as I, this is what I wanted to do. And I feel like it's like, this is like, book has become, it's become like a little bit of a treat for myself. And so whenever I just like, just, just sit down with it, I put my headphones on and I'm just like listening to this. And it's just, yeah, it's got like a comfort read factor as well as those like historical kind of elements. And there's a little bit of romance within those pages as well, as well as a mystery of what's going on, the secrets of Hartwood Hall, obviously, as you would know from the title. Yeah, it's just really, really, really gorgeous. And I definitely feel like, and I'm not just saying this because Katie's a booktuber, um, I feel like I really want to reread re re this in the autumn as well, because um, this reads perfectly now. It does read perfectly now. But I can imagine, like, in the autumn, getting those autumn vibes as well. So I'm going to finish, I'm, I'm going to try and finish this in the next couple of days. It will, I will finish this in the next couple of days. And, yeah, I'm going to park this again. I'm going to reread this again in the autumn. So, yeah. So that's um, what I'm kind of currently reading. I'm still reading The Refugees. Um, I have read another short story. <laughs> I've only read one more short story since the last time I spoke to you, which is terrible. But I told you I'm terrible at reading short stories. <laughs> Um, my in terms of future reading plans, um, I'm going to be I'm trying to take part in the Caribathon. So, um, but actually, it currently it started on Wednesday. I'm filming this Thursday, and I haven't actually started any books by any Caribbean authors, which is terrible. Um, the Readathon is going on for ten days, from the seventh to the seventeenth. So I have got loads of time to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on picking up The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I have already read this before, so this will be a reread. But as it's a novel told in books, I thought this would be a perfect kind of book to sort of dive into and sort of get one off, like, you know, get one read. And I have, I have been meaning to reread this for ages. Elizabeth, uh, speaking of this, like Elizabeth Acevedo, she has got um, a book called Family Law out I think it's August. I'm so excited for it because it's, I mean, book about families. It's very, very charlie. So yeah, that's a future reading plan. As is <laughs> um, In Memoriam by Alice Wynn. Uh, I showed this in a recent like library haul and Scott mentioned, um, commented and said that this was like, could be his favourite, potentially favourite book of the year. He loved it so much. And then also in his wrap up, I'll link Scott's wrap up in the description. Scott Gunpowder Fiction Pot. I'm sure you all are watching and subscribed. Yeah. So yeah. Um go and check out his thoughts on that if you want to hear that. But yeah, I can't wait to read this. And I think me and Charlie are gonna sort of try and read a letter about it together, like we always like to do. So yeah. But this is due back at the library on 20th because someone someone has got put a reserve on it. So I have to get to this like ASAP. So I hate when that happens, but it's a new release, so and then in terms of other audiobooks, I, um, again, I treated myself, because I'm listed, doing Zigzag, um, which is an audiobook service where you can, like, basically, the, the, it, it reduces in price the more you buy books from them. So um, I'm actually at a point where it's, like, very reasonable, getting, getting quite reasonably priced. So um, I treated myself, as a result, to uh, Elliot P uh, Page page boy by Elliot page and I this is a really anticipated release for me and the audio book is obviously um, narrated by Elliot himself so I, I cannot 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 wait to read that so as soon as I finish the secrets of Hartwood Hall which I've only got a few more hours left on this and um, I'm gonna go straight in to page boy so yeah that's a future uh, a future reading plan also I've got Emily Dickinson's poems which sounds like a bit of a random choice, and it is a random choice, but in this book, one of the characters, I can't remember her name, oh, my brain is so, it's having a, I'm having a brain fart, um, anyway, one of the lead, one of the, the daughters in Poisonwood Bible constantly talks about Emily Dickinson's poetry, and I have this upstairs unread, I think I've already read a, a few of the poems, because you can see I'm, actually, I'm probably halfway through. Um, so I thought I might read some Emily Dickinson poetry. So that's all my reading plans. What are you guys have got for your reading plans? Let me know. Um, have you guys read any of these books that I'm talking about or want, uh, want to read? So let me know about that. Then in terms of plans, I will talk about the plot along, um, like future plot along shows. We're coming to the end. So as you guys watch this um, on Sunday, 
we've got a live show at 4 p.m. over on Alice's channel, Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. I know you guys are all watching, Alice. Um, so and we've got um, our friends Danny, who is from Danny's Book World, and Anne from Angie's Book Chatter. Uh, um, so we love those guys so much anyway, so, and they're going to be joining us. So I hope you guys can make that day at 4 p.m. Yeah, over on Alice's channel. The winner of the Women's Prize is being announced on Wednesday the 14th, which is so exciting. We're a matter of days away now, literally. And um, so that's being announced at, seven, at 10 minutes past 7 p.m. BST. And so me and the girls, me and Gemma and Alice, are going to be having our final, like, plod video final live show at 8 p.m that night and that will be basically our reaction to whoever the winner is i think um we're hoping for or the girls are all hoping for demon which i am hoping i'll be happy if it was demon um but also i'd love it if it was trespasses i don't think trespasses will win but also it'll be quite funny if it was pod so to let me know um what you what, who which book would be your winner for the women's prize would it be any of which six would it be so let me know uh, yeah uh so that is all of that in terms of other future like video plans and um, me and charlie have, are making plans for like doing some um booker we're going to be doing some booker videos so before we know it like we'll see with the women's prize is already being is starting to be nearly wrapped up so i'm already starting to think about the booker so um yeah me and charlie will probably be doing various content around that and i will probably be doing a rank my Booker Prize books as I read them as well, like I did with the Women's Prize each week. So um, yeah, watch out for that and subscribe for that if you want to get any of that content. Uh, yeah, so uh, in terms of this week, it's been a funny one. I feel like I've been finishing up doing bits with this house. Obviously, we built, at the weekend we were building furniture. <laughs> we built this lovely, we got this lovely bookshelf built, and then we've got a new TV unit. Little, it's little things like that that kind of, you know, to try and make the lounge more like cozy and la nice and updated a little bit we do want a new sofa but that's going to be a little way of the way because obviously we've got to save up for that etc but yeah so that's like it's all coming along um, and we're getting like i've been hanging up pictures i've still got pic more a few more pictures to hang up and all the details of that so that's been something i've been up to this week um i want to do some gardening tomorrow because it's meant to be like one of the not light and last nice days this week I think the weekend's going to be a bit of rainy sorry maybe it's not I don't know so I think that I'm going to treat myself to doing that but yeah apart from that I think that's it so um I think I'm just gonna just chill with my family this weekend and I don't know I'm sure we're gonna get, start going my husband's desperate to go out for more walks our, our, our town has got um is holding its first pride um event which is very very exciting um so yeah that um i may go along to that or my eldest is going along to that though so they might be a little bit annoyed with me if i just try and hang along i could probably hide in the crowd and they wouldn't even notice so i don't know should i or should i not and um, by the time you see this this would it would have already happened so I'll, yeah um but yeah so that's that that's me um let me know how you guys are sending you guys lots of love um if in case any of you guys need it um yeah we have good days we have bad days but we can get through all this stuff together so yeah take care goodbye